So here we are, match number five, France up against Australia. So starting lineups for France is like this, Loris in goal, Mendy, Digny, Koscielny, Varane, Kante, Leymar, Pogba, Matui, Mbappe, Griezmann in the start 11 with Sissoko, Paye, Giroud and the like on the bench. As for the Socceroos, Ryan and goal, Wright, Sainsbury, McGowan, Bihic, Chetniak, Moy, Milligan, Cahill, Jurek and Lecky up front with Rogic and Cruz on the bench. So Australia will get this match underway in their traditional yellow jerseys, green shorts, kind of look like Norwich if you're a fan of English football, and France in their sharp as you like blue jerseys and white pants. This game will take place in the real world. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let's just uh, see this highlight through. Okay, seems to have been calmed down. Socceroos now clean it up in the midfield. But this game will take place on the 16th of June, 2018. Uh, and it will be at the Kassan Arena. And that is in the city of Kassan. Uh, Australia and France find themselves in Group C. Uh, with Peru and Denmark in there. So this is quite a tense and tight affair. And I'm not entirely sure who's going to make it through. I believe France will be there. As for the second spot, you don't know. I just don't know. Australia are a stubborn little side and they will defend their little socks off uh, and they've done it in the past um, and that's a nasty tackle uh, early doors in this game and it will be taken obviously oh look at that I told you within the first minute Australia take a shock lead here who was that who got on the end of that was that was that the man the myth the legend was that the leg end Cahill was it was it come on anytime now anytime no nope, Jurich they look all alike, these Australian fellas. They look all, even Moy with his bold napper. He's got a full set of hair in this game. Uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, I have amended the squads for both these sides. And obviously, we're trying to simulate the whole 2018 World Cup. Um, but one thing you can't do is individual, customize individuals in this game. It's kind of one and done. So, for example, Moy with his bold head of hair. He has to have a full set of hair. So he's wearing a wig. Wearing a wig throughout this tournament. And right now could be a long one. Because Australia have got their noses in front. Up against one of the favourites, France. So they have got a who's who celebrity list of players on the field right now. Pogba, Mbappe, uh, Griezmann. Who could you know join some of the big boys in the summer. Possibly Barcelona. I don't know if that would happen actually. Uh, or he could go to Manchester United. Let me think about that for a second. Who they got? Who they just have? Sanchez. Oh, that would be tasty, wouldn't it? Sanchez, Pogba, Griezmann, all in the start 11 with young Rashford and uh, Martial. And, oh, my good, that would be a, that would be a dream. Well, it wouldn't be a dream, but it would be a tasty, tasty set of players to have on the same uh, squad. Um, but Australia with Cahill, he's going to his is it fifth World Cup, I think, something bonkers like that. Uh, he is going to probably retire at the end of this tournament. He just rejoined uh, Millwall, a club he, he joined early well, early in his career. They got back, brought him to England. Obviously, he went on to make a bazillion appearances for Everton. And then he joined um, some uh, overseas football, which I can't remember off the top of my head. But these two sides have met uh, over the years. In fact, this will be the fifth encounter. Uh, Australia have only won one of them. And that was all the way back in 2001 in the FIFA Confederations Cup where they beat France. Uh, and the last time out when these two sides met, it was a friendly. France thumped them 6-0. But right here in my simulation, Australia are in front with a 1-0 goal. And that, on the grand scheme of things, could prove pivotal uh, to see if Australia can actually upset the odds and actually make uh, the second round. In fact, they nearly got second there with that strike. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tough in the real world as well. Like I said, France should have enough to qualify. They they, they will be one of the favourites, and I can I can see them in the final. Um, I, I haven't really done the bracket. I haven't really simulated that in my head, so I don't know who they would face in the in the actual qualify. Oh my goodness, what a strike! France right back in this. Uh, I thought they were done and dusted, but uh, he's celebrating on his own. None of it. He must be. Must be pissed with everybody else. But Frenchman, what's his name, pops up. Because I can't tell who he is. Mbappe makes it 1-1. France 1, Australia 1. This game is completely on, folks. Completely on. Uh, but yeah, I see France qualifying. I, could, uh, I, I, I can 
pretty much guarantee they'll make quarterfinals minimum. Um, as for who they'll face in the quarterfinals, I think it might get a little, little, little tight. Uh, but you know, I won't get overly confident. There's, there's a couple of sides I would say uh, are looking good. Obviously, Germany looking good, France looking good. Uh, be, it'd be a shame without the likes of Holland and, and Italy, England. Yeah, they, they don't, they don't, they don't shine for me. To be honest with you, I, yeah, they might upset a few people and they might make it to the quarterfinals. But Brazil look okay. Argentina, realistic. If you take Messi out of it, they are pretty woeful. But I think Messi, uh, he wants to, he wants to go out with a bang for Argentina, and this would be it. And here come Australia now, looking for a winner. Well, not a winner, but one that pushes them in front. But this this game is coming to half time, and it's going to be one one on the break once this uh, once little Reese boots it out. And uh, but no, it's still going on. We do play four minute halves, and that half has finally come to an end. And France will get the second half underway. Go on, boys. There we go. There we go. Finally get it underway. Some superstars in this group with Christian Eriksen for Denmark, Peru. Now, again, they're, they're, they're one of those unknown quantities, kind of like what Costa Rica were in the 2014 World Cup when they made it all the way to the quarterfinals, uh, if not better. No, it's quarterfinals, right? Right. But they were they were one of those teams that um, like some dirty fouls coming in here. It's eventually broken up by Australia. They build in midfield. Yeah, Costa Rica actually made it to the quarterfinals, getting knocked out by Holland. That's just off the top of my head, you know. I, I know all this knowledge, uh, you know, piece of cake. But uh, they could be one of those teams that really upset the odds and, and, and squeeze through this group. Um, but Denmark, they, they, they uh, made light work of their playoff against Ireland. But we'll talk more about Peru and Denmark when we, when we see their game, uh, which will be online uh, in a day or so. But right here, right now, France looking to get a winner. And that goal, that shot is parried. Uh, but Australia pick it up. And they could go again here. They've, they've scored one, so I know they could score against France. Uh, are they going to get it here? Good position to strike, but he teases a little bit. Eventually comes back out to uh, another player. Again, there's no indications or indicators to tell me who's who. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see once the ball goes in the back of the net. Um, if you're a fan of either one of these sides, France or Australia, um, and you enjoyed this video. In fact, if you're just a fan of, of, of the football, uh, the simulation itself, Stick a thumbs up on the old video. It does help it uh, with its rankings. Also, if you're a fan of either one of these sides and you want to know, you want to talk about the, the country in the World Cup, let me know. Put a couple, a couple of comments in the bottom and I'll try and get back to you. Uh, obviously, the squads are, are my guesstimates on there. And that's another dirty foul by Australia. But I think they're gonna, they'll be happy with a 1-1 draw against France. Um, but yeah, these are my guesstimates of squads and I've probably made a horrific attempt at it. So I do apologise if... Uh, I've stuck a goalkeeper up front, but I, I know I haven't stuck a goalkeeper up front, but you know, I might have stuck three left backs uh, on the field. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm open to comments, so please let me know in the description below. But the tournament will go on. The tournament goes on, and uh, Australia still in this game. If you hear any dog sound effects in the background, that is my pooch. She's cheering on France at the moment. She wants them to do well. She's cheering them on. Any any goal now would do her great. But Australia being stubborn. Australia always improving in the World Cup. Obviously, Cahill will be playing his last. So they're going to need a new talisman. And maybe the man Moy is their talisman. I think he's a class player. Formerly on the books of Manchester City. Now on the books of Huddersfield. I saw him play against Blackburn Rovers last season. Uh, I think he scored from a free kick, but the game resulted in a 1-1. It, it was actually at Huddersfield. We went went over there for uh, an away day. It was it was good fun. I enjoyed their stadium. Had a nice good cup of coffee, which was always good. It was cold. Cold, and it was a nice good cup of coffee. Uh, but, yeah, Moy's a talent. Uh, and I was quite surprised that, um, that that he was on the books of Man City. And I was quite surprised that uh, Huddersfield managed to scoop him up for, like, seven or eight million. And it just shows you the... 
the how crazy the football world is right now where Huddersfield can drop 8 million on a player anyway Australia look to try and capitalise here and try and get a last minute winner and that shot is on target but it is saved by Lloris and this game looks like it's petering out for a 1-1 draw which I think Australia will be the happier of the two sides as we've reached the 8 minute mark it's into injury time what's the ref going to allow is going to allow 10, 20 seconds the last minute shot can Australia get a stonkingly injury time winner but no here come France and the clock still burns. It's right in the middle of the park, ref. Blow. Blow it up. No. It's a chance, a chance. Oh, and oh my golly, there he goes. There's the full time whistle. And that game peters out to a 1 1 draw. Look at the statistics there. Australia are the better side. Well, I say better. They had more shots on target. And it's just a recap of the scoring summary. Mbappe, uh, late equaliser, but Juric opened up the scoring early doors. As for fouls, there was a couple of fouls, but no player in the book. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.